Well, it seems that the Muslims over in Pakistan keep proving the fact of Islam being the spiritual the spirituality of Ishmael in Genesis chapter 16, verse 12. The fact that he's a wild man, that's what he's called in Genesis chapter 16, verse 12. And this instance uh, proves that, and proves the fact that, that Islam is nothing more than just Luciferianism uh, in a different form. This is uh, uh, out of Pakistan. It says here on Jihad Watch, Christian hospital workers' life in danger after false accusation of blasphemy. Pakistan's blasphemy laws are routinely used for the worst human rights abuses. The world yawns as stories such as this one don't fit the narrative. Yeah, exactly. The media narrative is basically pro-Islam, pro-Islamic, and if you say anything about that, see, when is that, whenever there's a narrative that contradicts the media narrative of the pro-Islam agenda, well, they, they just won't show it. Especially what involves Christians too, by the way. So it says here on Jihad Watch, um, it says Pakistan a Christian hospital worker in danger after being accused of blasphemy, October 12, 2022. 42 year old James Mashi, hope, hope I'm saying that right, has been a hospital worker at the THQ hospital for the last 12 years. Now his life is under threat due to a false allegation last week that James committed blasphemy. The allegation, which was made last week by a disgruntled Muslim hospital patient, has drawn much media attention in a video that has now gone viral on social media and has been featured in the Punjab local news. The incident occurred on Wednesday, the 5th of October, when a Muslim woman named Nazia went to the hospital for a medical screening. So what they do is these Muslims, because the Quran does tell them to lie to strengthen Islam uh, in various surahs, Basically, she accuses him of blasphemy to because she's disgruntled against him or whatever. You know, that's Islam for you. See, that's that's the deceptive, satanic nature of Islam. But it says here, James, whose duties included assisting staff in the emergency ward, described their interaction as, quote, I asked her to go to room 11 to get her blood pressure checked, but she refused. While I was trying my best to convince her to go to room 11, a staff nurse came. I told the nurse that this lady was not listening to me, and the nurse then asked the patient to go to room 11. She listened to her, unquote. After completing her initial screening with the, with the doctor, Nazia returned to the waiting room and began abusing James. Quote, she came back to me and started threatening me and accusing me of uttering disrespectful words about the Prophet Muhammad, false Prophet Muhammad. He's a, you know, disgusting pervert is what he was. He was, you know, had a child bride, uh, was into, you know, cousin marriage and all, all of a sudden there's a polygamy, uh, slept with his dead wife. I mean, you could just name it. And there's evidence that he may have been a homosexual too, by the way. But uh, he says, you know, he says, quote, I haven't done any such thing. Quote, I'm very concerned about my safety and that of my family and don't know how we can continue living here. Blasphemy is a very sensitive matter. And in such cases, people, uh, basically people become very emotional. They could kill me on the spot as normally happens in such cases. There are a number of examples where innocent people have been killed based on a person's accusations, unquote. Yeah. There's no evidence given, but they just accuse you of blaspheming their false, you know, pedophile prophet Muhammad. And they, that's enough to basically get you on death row. Because that's that's what Islam does when you're under Islamic theocracy, like Pakistan. Plain and simple. That's one thing that Islam has with his mother, the harlot of, harlot of Rome, you know, Mystery Babylon, the Roman Catholic Church, is they are against the biblical doctrine of liberty of conscience. You know, that is just plain and simple. But more proof of the fact that Islam is the spirituality of Ishmael, described in Genesis chapter 16, verse 11 and 12. He's a wild man. And these Muslims keep showing that. So anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.